know what I mean? Like, do I look fleek right now? Because I'm trying to really look cute. Okay, so, yeah. I've been asked to do a video like this, like question and answers video, like four minutes. And there are like a lot of questions. I didn't really even read them all. Um, so mainly they're all gonna be from Instagram. So I got my phone right here. And the shirt that I'm wearing is from this company that messaged me on Instagram. So they sell like these really cool t-shirts you can express yourself. And y'all already know I like to express myself. So the shirt did not come like this off the shoulder. It's actually just a regular t-shirt. Their name of their clothing company is AF Clothing Company. I love t-shirts. Like y'all know I love t-shirts. So this one is sucker free. A girl always stays sucker free. I'm not about to let nobody get over on me. So this was more or less like me. But plus it says AF at the bottom. Which could definitely stand for my initials. They're just regular t-shirts. You can express yourself and make them as you like. But yeah, they got some really cool t-shirts. They got all kind of stuff that you can imagine. And just express yourself. And like it says, as fuck clothing company. Okay? So now let's get to the video at hand. So this is more or less people want to be nosy. Want to know all about me. Questions and shit like that. I haven't read any of the questions so i'm really excited this is the first time for me just as well as it is you guys um you know what i hate like i just went in my dm just now okay when you follow somebody just because i followed you dude you followed me first i didn't follow you only because i wanted to i was just returning the favor like more or less the courtesy don't dm me afterwards talking about hey how you doing like Pass, no, you'll be on the block list in a minute. I try to do stuff that's really fun for everybody. Like, I don't want to do the same thing all over and over again. Sometimes doing the same thing all over and over again kind of like takes away from my feng shui and my vibe. And like, my vibes be, have been kind of low lately. So like, there have been days when I really didn't feel like doing any type of YouTube, nothing, okay? There are 57 comments like OMG y'all is some nosy ass people what made you move to Arizona and do you plan on moving anywhere else as you guys know I'm from New York City and I left New York City um in my mid-20s because I had a kid and it's really expensive to live there so I moved upstate New York but where I lived at upstate New York like Schenectady look it up Schenectady it took me like forever to learn how to spell that shit but there's nothing there like there's literally nothing there so it's really dreary there's no jobs it's depressing so I just figured I was gonna move to Arizona I'm gonna try it you can't knock it until you try it so um, do I plan on moving anywhere else I don't really know to be honest like I don't know I like it here but it does get really hot so I don't really know um if I was to move anywhere else, it would probably be like overseas because I just, you know, you gotta try stuff. So, I don't know. What, what is your favorite muffin flavor? Willie Pop 17 said, what is your favorite muffin flavor? I know this is gonna sound crazy to y'all, but I don't really like muffins at all. Like, I really don't like muffins at all. I don't eat muffins like that. I'm not like a muffin eater. Even though that's my name, it, my nickname is because me and my husband used to call each other muffins. But I don't really like muffins. If I had to eat one, it would probably be like a banana nut muffin. I'm sorry. If I messed up your names. Tina Santana asks, are you dating and do you keep in touch with your ex after that big fall um, that he did, um, that big fall? And what do you think about women having tummy tucks and BBLS? I don't really know what BBLS is, but am I dating anyone? Um, no, I, I'm not dating anyone. And when, when you say my ex, I'm not really sure which one you're talking about. Are you talking about my ex-husband or are you talking about my ex-boyfriend that I got rid of like over a year ago? If you talk about my ex-boyfriend that I got rid of like a year and a half ago, then no, I definitely don't speak to his raggedy ass. But if you're speaking about my ex-husband, we speak to each other every single day. But no, I'm not dating anyone at the time. Um, I just kind of focus on myself because I've had enough of the bullshit. So I just leave everybody alone. And what do I think about women having tummy tucks girl if I could afford one you best believe I would be the first one in line getting a tummy tuck like I just say this do what makes you happy you know what I'm saying like there are a lot of people that say oh she got a butt lift oh she got this or, oh maybe that's what she meant Brazilian butt lift surgery okay so me personally the BBLS Brazilian butt lift surgery um I feel like this for any type of surgery cosmetic 
you have to do what makes you happy. You can't really worry about what everybody else thinks of you or what they're gonna have to say. Like me, if I could, I would get my breasts done, not to be bigger, but to be firmer. And I would definitely get my butt done. Like it's big enough, but I would like it to be more sculpted. So I definitely would. And I just feel like you have to do what pleases you. But I would suggest don't go overboard and try to find yourself like a reputable doctor. Music Lyric asks me, kind of like the same question, why did I move to Arizona and what happened to my friend Robin? Why did I go to court? For the friendship that I had, I guess sometimes you just grow apart from each other and I ain't even gonna front. I miss the hell out of Robin. I love her so much and it was like a fallout that was really unexpected and you know what? I would feel like I probably would take the blame for it because I could have been more woman enough to to say something to her because I felt like there was shade being thrown. Um, but I should have just said something to her instead of just avoiding her in all, in all general. So I do miss her. I look at her Instagram and her videos still to this day because I really do love her as a person. And um, hopefully one day that we will start speaking to each other. The reason why I went to court is because I was driving without a license. Like my license in New York was suspended. I never had a license here so I got pulled over and they towed my truck one of my cars so I went and got that fixed and actually last week was the last day that I had to go to court and it was dismissed it was all thrown out so I didn't have to pay any fines Miss Gorge Jessica asked what's one thing you wish you have done that you haven't done before and what are some of your favorite songs and the one thing that I wish that I would have done that I've never done before is skydive like I really want to go skydiving um, because it just looks like so much fun but First, you got to kind of like get over your fear of heights. Like I will fly, but um, I really would like to try something. That's like one of my things on my bucket list. And also what I haven't tried before, I haven't done before is swimming. Like I don't know how to swim. I know. So I would definitely love to take swimming lessons because um, I haven't before. I'm just kind of scared. My favorite songs actually, um, for those of you guys who are my age, I love Mint Condition. I love Pretty Brown Eyes. I love You Send Me Swingin'. Um, I really like like all the old school stuff. I love um, Michael Jackson's um, Rock With Me song. That's like one of my favorite. Um, also, I'm a big Harry Connick Jr. fan. Um, Queen Tracy D said, how did you come up with your name? How would you feel if one of your kids wanted to make a career out of YouTube? What suggestions or advice would you give them? What made you start Real Talk and how does it feel to have people want your opinion on their, li on their lives? My YouTube name, um, like I said, is just a nickname that I combined um, me and my husband. I've never seen myself doing YouTube videos. I didn't even really know what YouTube was about. My mom used to send me these links of like these stupid animal videos. And so I would watch it and then I tried to learn how to do my makeup one day and YouTube just kept coming up and I was like, what the hell is this? So I looked it up and, and then I was like, oh, okay, this is, I guess people doing videos. After just watching YouTube for so long, I decided to do a video. Um, how would I feel if my kids wanted to do YouTube as a career? Like, in all honesty, I really, really would not want my kids to do YouTube as a career because there's so much more to life than sitting in front of the camera and doing videos. It is great exposure and it is a great way to make friends and meet people and to just like voice your opinion on things but in all honesty I would really want my children to have like a, a like a career outside of like the internet because with YouTube you don't know if you're gonna get a check today or tomorrow it's not always promised it's not always guaranteed and just like I didn't know what YouTube is it just came about and became very successful it could just go down the drain and you know a lot of platforms they're really famous like MySpace was really famous for a minute and then it's not and like Vine was really famous so I don't really foresee YouTube as being like the biggest thing on the internet for like forever so I definitely would rather my kids just use their education and be like a lot more smarter than doing YouTube I would definitely tell my kids that like I don't really I don't really think like no me personally I kind of get tired of doing YouTube sometimes um, because it kind of is like a Debbie Downer for some things but I would rather them just get like have like a real career like a really really real career what made me start doing real talk and how does it feel to have people want your opinions on their lives like I don't I don't even know why I started doing real talk this was like on my very first channel it was just a, I guess it was a way for me to voice my opinion about shit that how I felt about certain things you know what I mean I, it, it really did start off with me voicing my opinion about this wig company that I was really not 
impressed with and then people just started emailing me questions about what should they do and so I decided to make like a like you know like a weekly thing out of it and there are some times when I just be like well I hope I'm not offending anybody of uh, what I'm gonna tell them or how I feel it's more or less like some people need like a biased opinion even though my thoughts may not be always politically correct all the time is my opinion and whatever I tell someone to do is not like go do it like I'm like I'll oh, kill them don't really kill them like you know what I'm saying and basically my opinion of what you should do my advice you know what I'm saying you don't have to literally take it but this is how I would handle the situation if it were me and I guess because of the mistakes that I have made I would definitely not want anybody else to make the same mistakes as I would. Willy Wonka 1929 says do you ever get tired of YT and just want to drop it definitely um, I have been really kind of like down about it for the past couple of months especially like the past few weeks because I work hard at doing videos every single day like I don't record a video every day but I have a video uploaded every single day so I stay up late and I edit videos and I and record them like on the weekends I'll record like eight or nine of them you know what I mean I put in a lot of work so for the amount of subscribers that I have which is over a hundred and thirty thousand when I only have like two to three thousand views it's kind of like depressing because it's like damn I'm doing all of this hard work I'm staying up late and I'm not really hanging out and I'm not getting the views that I should deserve. Like, what am I doing wrong? A lot of times I'd be like, what am I doing wrong? And there's some days when I'm just like, my vibe is like really not there. And I just don't want to do a video. And I, I have thought about many times of leaving YouTube. Um, but then it's more or less like my outlet because I like making friends and I like being able to voice my opinion. And I'm, a, I'm the type of person, I'm a very introverted person, so I don't really get out and I don't hang out with a lot of people. So for me, YouTube is an outlet for me. It's a way of making friends and being able to talk to people. So this is like easier for me than versus being in the street with a bunch of people or in a, like a big venue talking to people. This is like my outlet. Okay, gamer mom to three asks, have you ever thought about teaching classes on how to make wigs? You are really good and I just want and I know just by watching your videos you've helped you've helped me over the years to be great. Um I've never thought about take teaching classes on how to make a wig because I don't think that I'm the best teacher. And when I say I don't think I'm the best teacher, it's not for wigs, it's for anything in general. I'm a very impatient person and um so I don't really feel like I can teach people because I'm very, very impatient and I feel like you should get it on the first time. And though it doesn't work out like that because it damn sure doesn't work out like that for me but I don't have patience to teach people to do things so I would not be good at teaching a class on making wigs and there's so many different techniques that I feel like each person has their own and I feel like you know you could just watch YouTube and get free lessons versus having to pay for them okay so lovely couponing Tony said can we be friends we can definitely be friends um you can always send me a message um I don't know about me everybody in person because I've had my fair share of making friends out here and listen not everybody is for everybody not everybody needs to be friends with everybody but definitely we can be like social media friends what would I do when Nay and Mumsy graduate from high school I don't even know like honestly when when what I wanted to do was I wanted to get an RV and just like travel the country, like drive around from right. state to state. Nay's in the 10th grade, so she only has two more years left, then she's going to college. So I definitely will cry because then it's like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do from here? But I definitely want to travel the country in an RV and just like, you know, that probably take me like a good oh, year. Yeah. So do you feel like you get the credit, respect, and pay you deserve as one of the first black women on YouTube to have a beauty channel? And how does it make you feel when people tell you that they started wearing wigs and how to properly apply them because of you? So for one, I was actually one of the first black women to start a YouTube channel. This was back in 2009, and it was only like four of us, and then everybody just, you know, more or less came onto YouTube. So right about now, I don't really feel like I get I get the, the pay or the respect that I deserve because I'm more or less one of the older Gs. So nobody really, I don't really feel like, like I said, all of the subscribers that I have, I don't really feel like I get enough views. But when people tell me that they wear wigs and they apply them properly because of watching me, I feel like I'm that's when I feel like, you know what? Regardless of how many people have watched my video, 
if I have taught one person one thing and that one person got out of that what I've been trying to teach for all these years that I'm happy. Um, is there anything about my life that I re or myself that I regret sharing? Nope, not at all. Um, you know what? Maybe, um, you know something that my last ex-boyfriend, the one that I got rid of, I wish I would have never invited him into my life. And if I did, I wish I would have never let anybody know that I was dating him because I felt like a huge failure for even dating him again. And I really... At that time in my life, I was alone and I just wanted to be with somebody. So that's the one thing that I really wish that I would not have shared with anybody is letting people know that I was dating this asshole because I feel like an asshole myself for even allowing him any type of exposure in my life. Um, how did I repair, Born Verified wants to know, how did I repair the relationship with my mom and my eldest son? Well, me and my mom, we, we were never like, we we always was like off and on you know what i'm saying like she say things that was really mean and it would hurt my feelings and then i wouldn't speak to her for months at a time and then i guess when people get older they just start realizing like what they have said to a person or what they have done to a person has really affected them in life so she became more aware of what she has done to me and how it has made me feel as for my son my eldest son me and him, we go back and forth with each other, but like I said, he is much more mature now. He's 25 years old. He's got a good job. He's got a record coming out. And I think because he was going through a lot in life, like not being where he wanted to be, it kind of brought out a lot of progression to him. And he's gotten older and he's also become more mature and he's valued me as a mother more and he really finally realized like yo mom you know a lot of the things that you said to me were right you know and i do apologize so he he apologized to me about it and we speak to each other every single day like all the time rissa 05 i think that's how you said what keeps you grounded in life if you could go back in time and change an event or anything what would it be and what would your older self tell your younger self if you could go back in time um what keeps me grounded in life is my kids um i do everything for my kids and um it's all about them so that's what keeps me grounded in life and if i could go back in time and change anything it would probably be to not drop out of high school and have finished high school so I could graduate and have gotten a better career. So I definitely would do that. And my older self would definitely tell my um, younger self, like, girl, listen, don't trust all these men out there because they is snakes in the ground. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Chi Chi143123 said, this is a serious question because I dealt with this shit at one point, unfortunately. But what would you do if a nigga pulled down his pants and his balls smelled? Okay, so first of all, if you pull down your pants, I am not about to smell your balls because that means that you did not get out the fucking shower, okay? Ain't nobody about to smell your sweaty balls. And if your balls smell, I would definitely tell you, like, and I definitely wouldn't mess with you. I don't know what kind of smell it would be, but for me, for one, if you're not about to pull your pants down and I'm not about to smell your balls if you just came in the door and you just did, the only way... I'm smelling your balls as if you just got out the shower. That's it. I'm very, very, like, clean. So, like, no. I would never smell anybody's balls if they didn't just get out the shower. Ms. Roe Diva says, Were you ever a hairstylist prior to making wigs, or did you just get into it from doing your own hair? I never was a hairstylist. I don't even like doing people's hair. I don't like standing up on my own two feet all day long. So, I never was a hairstylist. I just like to try different stuff with my hair. And being that my hair doesn't hold, like, a curl for too long, I had to just try to find different alternatives. So, never was a hairstylist. I don't even want to mess with anybody else's hair. Because people are so picky and be complaining too much, and I don't have the patience so I definitely would not want to be a hairstylist. Sherry Sherry Lagoff says you're a beautiful woman are you afraid to date a new guy and if you ran into a man that seems to be nice do you miss New York? Thank you very much for your compliment and I am scared to date anybody new because men always got a hidden agenda or anybody that you date that's new got a hidden agenda so I'm so like Sometimes I can be vulnerable and then I can be too trustworthy. So um, I wouldn't be scared to date somebody new, but I would be scared because I don't I don't like liars and cheaters and thieves and shit like that. So as the person that I am, I would definitely really have to investigate them for a while. And I do miss New York. I definitely miss New York, um, but I don't miss how expensive it is. Um, were all of your kids planned? 
They were not. None of them were planned at all. But yeah, so yeah, you guys, I hope you like this Q&A. There's so many more questions, so maybe I'll do a part two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can leave your other questions below, and I'll try to get back to them. But yeah, I hope it wasn't too long, and you know what to do. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in with me. And hopefully, you know, I'll speak to you guys really, really soon.